Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we have something special. 1965 Honda CB450 KO, AKA the Black Bomber. Production ran from 1965 to 1968. Four speed CB450, these things were awesome. They were kind of a, back in the day, they were kind of a love-hate relationship because the tank was this big honking tank and the seat, this one's missing a seat. The seat kind of lipped up right here to meet the tank, which is really cool, but you know, some people liked it, some people didn't. It leans British when you look at it, but they're really super collectible. It has Gauges similar to the 305s, the Scrambler and the uh, Superhawk. The whole headlight bucket is very similar, just a little bigger. Painted uh, silver fenders, front and rear and side covers. Chrome tank side covers. So this Black Bomber is not mine. It's a friend of mine that needs some help kind of getting it going. I figured I'd help out because why not? It's a Black Bomber. So it does have one minor problem is the engine is stuck. We don't know how bad, but we know it's this bad. So he just dropped this off just a, a couple of days ago. Our plan today is to pressure wash, as you can see, is to pressure wash the, the bike to clean it up. Then we're gonna pull the spark plugs and scope them, see what they look like on the inside, and then put some juice in them and see if we can start to free it up. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite concoction because the more comments I get, the more stuff I'm gonna put in this. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna take our time with this. It's not gonna be, let's get this thing running by the end of the day kind of thing because it's it's a motorcycle worth kind of taking its time with, right? So you don't rush it, so you don't break anything more than what it is because again, these parts are hard to source. Let us know in the comments down below, what's your favorite? Free up my 1965 Honda CB450 KO or whatever junk you have laying around that you need to free up the engine. What do you like to put in them? So I get a lot of questions, Eric, well, you know, why do you clean them first? Well, one of the main reasons why I clean them first and don't save it for a big reveal at the end is as I'm pressure washing, I'm kind of taking inventory of what's missing, what's there, what's broken. That's kind of the way I like to do it. Everybody has their own way. You know, how do, how do you do it? When you get one, what do you do? Do you wait to save to, to wash it at the end? I do it first only because that's just the way I do it. Doesn't make it the right way, doesn't make it the wrong way, it just makes it the way I do it. And I like to hear what you guys do, but it works for me. Plus, when I'm messing with it inside, I don't have to worry about it being full of grime. All the bolts are cleaned off. If I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to put penetrating oil on it, I don't have to worry about uh, grime being on top of it. So the penetrating oil actually works, in my opinion. Now, take that and $12 and you can get a cup of coffee. I, you know. Whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. As long as the motorcycle runs and rides and you had a good time while you were doing it, you gotta be doing it right. So let's get this sucker cleaned up, pull those plugs, let's take a look inside. We've got some dirt daubers that we're gonna have to evict off the bottom of this tank, so let's get to it. Okay, let's go ahead and blow this out. We get the other side too. Let's go ahead and get this guy off. All right. Let's see what's behind door number one. Would take us forever to get to it. Anticipation. Let's go. Oh, what is this? It shouldn't be there. It's like we had a spider nest or something in there. It's got some mud in there. Hmm. Well, 
we're going to have something to look at. I'm going to go ahead and take off the other one. Oh, I think I will. Oh, jeez. I don't want to break it. Oh, jeez. Oh, that one is on. That one is stuck. McStuckster. Oh, I don't want to snap it. Nope. Let's see if we can tighten it up a little bit. No, that's going to get some penetrating off. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to tell you some exciting news that we have coming up on the channel. So starting Wednesday, February 21st at 12 p.m. Central Time, we will upload a brand new episode of Talking Motorcycles. These old motorcycles are cool, but the stories are way cooler. And we just talk to people about their motorcycle history, their motorcycle origin stories. And we do those in a podcast format and it is going to be loads of fun. So check it out every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central Time. We're super excited about launching this. I love talking to people about motorcycles and I get to do this every single Wednesday. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. Let's get back to the bomber. The penetrating oil of choice, PB Blaster. Why? Because it's what I had. So let's just hose some off around here and let that soak a little bit. And then let's go on the other side and look at that cylinder. Let me show you how easy it is to use this. This is the, the scope I use. I got it on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's super affordable. If I get to my phone, use my face, all you do is connect, go to your Wi-Fi, you connect to it. It's once you turn it on and then it's going to say, yo, yeah, oh, hey, there we go. Eventually it's going to connect there. Now it's connected. Now I can go back to the, the camera. Close that. And now I should be able to see what's going on. That's what you guys look like. And then I can just go right here and it has a light on it. So I can hit the, the light. See, and then we're going to feed in. See what it looks like. Oh, oh, it's going to be nice. Let's see if we can turn this guy up. Okay, turn up all the way. Oh, that is rough. It's had some water in there. And that's not from us pressure washing it. It's got some, some stuff. Look, it's got some stuff in there. That's why my kick, the Kickstarter is not working. Oh. Uh, use. So that's why that is not working. Is that the, I'm not sure if that's the top of the piston or not. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, let's go in here. See what we see coming in. Oh, it looks rough. It's rough. Looks like the piston could be at the top. Let me go ahead and, uh, I don't think we have that, that good of penetrating oil. Let's see what, uh, let me see if, how deep the, deep this rabbit hole goes. Let me jam this screwdriver in it and see. Oh, that goes in way deeper than I expected. This thing has been, this thing's been underwater or something in the mud. It may have been, it's, it's from Mobile, so I don't know if it was in a hurricane or something like that. We're gonna have to put some juice in it and see if we can try to suck some of this stuff out. It's, this thing is gonna need a full tear down, rebuild. And we don't even know if any of it is anything other than the cases is usable. Right? Top in maybe. Uh, well, top in. Maybe the cam. Depends on what condition they're in. This is what this cylinder looks like. We don't even know what the other one looks like because it's sealed up. So guys, this is pretty rough. Right? I thought the this is worse than the, the GPZ. This feels like I'm pushing through mud. The GPZ was just watered, had a layer on top, but it, it felt like it was going through there. I'll, I'll 
post it here so you can see what that looks like. But again, the GPZ was water. It looked like it had rust kind of sitting on the top, but it, it, it sucked out when I sucked it out. This is like mud. So we may fill it full of stuff and, and suck it out, see if we can get to it, which, which we probably will, but that probably came from this thing be, maybe laying on its side and water coming up through the exhaust. Although this exhaust over here is in good shape. This one on this side, not so much. It has, uh, it has some weight reduction down here, right? That you can see. And these exhausts are expensive. It's got some more right here, like my fingers disappear into it. So that other one over there looks way better. We'll see if we put the wrench on this guy and see if this spark plug wants to come off. Curious to see what that looks like. And then maybe we'll squirt some, some uh, shoot at this point. Does it hurt it if we pressure wash on the inside to blow out some of that stuff and then we suck it out? I, I don't think so. Can we make it worse than what it is? No. I mean, the engine's got to come out. Engine has to come completely apart. And uh, I don't know if he's prepared to do that. That's what I'm going to have to find out. Uh, because this becomes an interesting dilemma, right? Do you, the money you would spend in putting this guy back to, to that, you may be better off parting this out, finding another one, using this to to fund one that's further down the road, if you will. Yeah. At least that's my thought. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments down below. Would you, what would you do? Do you keep going with it? Do you say, hey, you know, throw caution to the wind and just go at it? Or uh, do you cut your losses and move into something that is uh, maybe a better financial decision? You know, everywhere down the line, because you're gonna need wheels. It, for this bike to be right, it's gonna need wheels, it's gonna need everything. So would you be better off just finding one, like I said, a little bit further down the road, parting this one out so that this one can live on in others? Or do you find source and engine? I mean, there's options, but figuring out what, it, what you would do. I am gonna, uh, we saw what it looked like. I'm gonna take the pressure washer nozzle and shove it in there. I can't hurt it, right? And then we'll scope it again. Again, guys, I can't make it any worse. Look at the mud coming out. I gotta find a way to stand back. Jeez, I'm Pete. Sorry about it, I'm about to get it on everything. Look, look at the mud just, look at the mud just coming out. Let me do this, because it's, it's causing more of a problem. See if I can get in there. Let's try again. This is gonna make a mess. Like I said, this is gonna make a mess. Look at, look at this. Not sure exactly what that is. Oh, that looks like some RTV. That's not supposed to be in there. More came out.
Oh, <laughs> good Every now and then stuff comes shooting out. It's a thump. Let me squirt some more in there. Okay, here comes the mess again. More stuff came flying out. Look at this monster that ended up on my sleeve. Like somebody wiped a big booger on me. I'm not sure what it is. It is like, look at it. It's like sticky. I, I don't know what it is. It's the oddest thing. Never seen anything like that. So, okay, let's go back inside, see what it looks like now. Still some funk up there. That must be that stuff that was on the top. But look, we can at least see stuff. That's piston. Oh, is that a valve open? Hard to see. I got water on the wall. It's, look at that stuff just that's what came flying out was that carbon that was just mixed with humidity that just kind of came off when I pressure washed it but why would it be like play-doh I'll have to dry this out and see can we see the edges yeah that's Still some water in there, so it's a little tough to see. But yeah, it's odd. We'll squirt some junk in there and see what happens. We gotta get the rest of that stuff out before I, I do anything. That is that is yucky. I don't know what it is. But we may just put some vapor rust or something like that in here and let it eat some of this rust and stuff out. Maybe it'll eat this stuff up here. I don't know, man. This stuff is gross. And then we'll use the the brake bleeder to to suck it out. So I'm not shooting it across the lawn. Look at that. That sucker just oozy. I've seen this sci-fi movie before. I know how this ends. Hmm. Guys, let me know what you think it is. Okay, let me wallop this with this. I'm not hitting it hard. I'm just putting some pressure on it. It is, it is turning, which is good. Let's see if it'll go now. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's behind door number two here in this wacky science fair project we got going on. Let me get this guy out. Look. This one looks good. It's crazy. Look. I can't wait to look inside this one. Okay, let's look in here. Oh, got a valve open. Oh, we got some funk in here, but nowhere near as bad as the other one. And that should be, oh, that, is that water in there? Let me check. No, that's the, let me dry this off. That's the top of the piston. Doesn't look like it's wet. Let's look at it again. Go. Okay, let's find our way back in here. Again, intake valve open. It's at the top. That other one was at the bottom, so it's hard to see around. That's the cylinder walls there. Well, right there is the cylinder wall, right in here, I think. Because right here is the edge of the piston, I think, is what I'm looking at. Getting past this valve, I think that this edge right here is the edge of the piston. So we're going to fill this full of juice and see what happens. we got to try to clean out that other one some more. But we're going to have to soak it with some stuff. So I'm going to fill it full of something I can get the rust away with. And you know what? We haven't checked the oil. Let's check the oil. Okay, let's check the oil. It's a little loose. Does it have any in it? It didn't have any on the, on the stick. So good thing it didn't kick over. That could be part of our problem. 
is that we don't have any oil in it. We'll mix up a concoction to pour in here. Guys, what do you put in it? There's anything you, I, I could put straight engine oil, I could put ATF, I could put diesel, I could put ATF and acetone, I could put just... Let me know what you do because I'm going to try them all out because we can't hurt it, right? Again, it's going to have to come all the way apart and the easiest way to get it apart is to get it unstuck, right? So if I can get it unstuck while it's mostly together, it's a little easier in my opinion because I've got leverage. I've got a unit that holds it as opposed to putting it on the bench and trying to free it up. And so trying to soften it up as much as I can before I have to wallop the pistons with a mallet, right? And a piece of two by four. So trying to avoid that. So let me know what you do. I'm gonna start with uh, some diesel because I've heard good things about it. I've never used it, but because I never have any around and a friend of mine dropped me off some in a jug and so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up, let it do its magic. I'm going to put more in than what I should, because why not? Let it get everywhere, and then we'll, uh, we'll drain it out, see what it looks like. Jeez, how much holds in here? It only takes... That's way more than I need. It's not all pouring out on the ground, no. It only holds, let's see, capacity's gotta only be a couple of quarts. So I put, this was a gallon, so I put three quarters of a gallon in there. Okay, so we're gonna pour some rust dissolver. Again, we're gonna take, guys, I know this engine is gonna come apart. I know it. And so we're, gonna, we're just trying to get it freed up. So <laughs> you guys stick with me. I'm just gonna pour some, rust dissolver into each of the cylinders and let it sit and then we'll we'll blow it out this one's not going to take much it's coming out the front because that's all it's going to take good we're going to screw this screw the spark plug back in just to seal it up just enough to keep it closed and then we're going to go to the other side okay let's go ahead and pour some more in on this one, let's pour some in on this one, and I'm gonna run out. There we go. We'll put that spark plug in. Let me screw this guy in again, just enough to to uh, seal it up, and then we'll see what we end up with. We'll check it tomorrow. So guys, there you have it. Episode one of a mini episode series, many, M-A-N-Y, many episode series of this guy, bringing it back to, hopefully bringing it back to life. It may be, once we dig into it, it may realize that it's, if there's a black bomber in Tommy's future, it may not be this one, but it may be a different one. And that's kind of, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do we, do we throw caution to the wind and dig in, open the checkbook and just go at it? Or do we say, okay, what does a restored one go for? And now, let me do some research. I just went ahead and, and just did a quick search on this at Mecham Auction and let's see what they had come up. You know, some of these bombers are going for crazy money. This one is 2023, was only $7,700. This one's 17. But again, you got to find somebody who's going to give you that. Um, this one's nine. That's more in the realistic, I think. Seven to nine range. You guys let me know what you think. This. Okay, so here, I just went to CMSNL. They do um, reproductions. They're 750 bucks. It's $750, no matter how you look at it. And that's just the exhaust. But just in that, so... You still have to figure out what's in here. You still have to buy the seat. Just in the exhaust and the seat, you're looking at uh, before shipping and all that, probably 1,300 bucks. And we're just here, and we still don't have it running, right? So if there's any, and then we need wheels. So it's looking, really looking to see. You need handlebars. Uh, so it's doing the uh, again, guys. This is how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way. This is just my way. Um, I like to do the math before I start buying parts because I don't want to spend money that's not going to return, if you will. 
So uh, before I would spend money on this exhaust and to get further down the road, I want to make sure that that we're going to be in good financial shape on the other end. This isn't even my bike. I'm spending, I, I spend other people's money like it's mine, right? So it's, but, but it's a, it's an honest decision you have to, you have to have and conversation you have to have because you get down the road on these restorations or I'm quote unquote, you can call them restorations. You get down the road on this. The next thing you know, you've spent way more money than the bike is ever going to be worth. And that's something to, to keep in mind, at least, and uh, that's something I keep in mind. I'm not telling you what to do, but that's something that, that I do. Um, that's the way I, that's the only way I can look at it. And that was just a quick look. So you guys let me know. Let me know. So guys, I want to thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Let me know what you think of the Black Bomber. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and subscribe. Come on, you can do it. And after you hit subscribe here, go ahead and subscribe to our friends, Brickhouse Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, Plan B Motos, Pete's Classic Cycle, and Lady Moto Bang. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.